Hi, in this video we're going to look at this infinite series and determine if it converges or diverges. And if it converges, we'll go ahead and find the sum. So first note that this is what's called a geometric series. It has the following form. So if you look at the sum from one to infinity of a times r to the k, this is called a geometric series. And this series converges if the absolute value of r is less than one and it diverges if the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to one. If it in fact converges, so if this actually converges, so if it converges, there's a trick to find the sum. Let me show you. This is a really cool trick and it's never in the books. Like you can never find this in a book. Maybe you'll find this formula, but my, this trick is special because you can expand it to other numbers. So if it converges, what you do is you take the number, whatever number is here, and you plug it in. And that goes up top. And then you just divide by one minus r. So like if there was a two here, you would just put the two here. If it's a three here, you put the three here, and then you just always divide by one minus r. All right, so in our particular problem, we have this infinite sum and it's cosine of one to the kth power. So our r here is uh, obviously cosine of one. And one here is in radians, right? So usually when you know, we're working with calculus, uh, the default uh, angle measure is the radian measure. So you have to decide if this is less than one in absolute value. So let's look at the graph of cosine. You could use a calculator too, but let's do it the hard way. So cosine of zero is one, and then cosine of pi over two is zero, and then here we have pi, that's gonna give us negative one, and then here we have um, three pi over two, et cetera. So uh, the graph of cosine looks like this. It comes down like this, and it comes down right here, and then it comes back up like this. So pi over two, let's think about what number that is. So pi is approximately 3.14. So pi over two is approximately uh, 1.57, um, is that right? Yeah, 1.57, because 1 1.5 um, times two would be three, and 0 0.07 times two would be 0.14. So approximately that. So one is gonna be like right here. So the cosine of one is gonna be some y value here. And that's certainly less than one. In fact, strictly less than one. So the absolute value of r uh, is the absolute value of cosine of one, which is definitely less than one, right? No issues there. In fact, um, this is always gonna be, the cosine of any number is always gonna be less than one as long as um, you're not at like zero or, um, you know, or two pi um, or, or pi, right? Because cosine of pi is negative one, so an absolute value will be one. So you basically just have to avoid multiples of pi. So in general, cosine of, um, I'll just say m, is gonna be less than one if m is not equal to a multiple of pi, where k is an integer, right? So just some extra knowledge there. Right, because that's the only time it's gonna be one. So this will converge. So this converges. Uh, and if you want to like invoke something, you can say converges by the geometric series test. Some people call it that. The geometric series test, um, some books refer to this as the geometric series test, which we can abbreviate by GST. You can also just say it's a convergent geometric series. So it converges, so we have to find the sum. So let's use the trick I showed you to find the sum of the series. So we go from one to infinity, and then we have the cosine of one to the k. And the trick says that you just take this number and you put it where the k is, and it goes up top. So you get cosine of one to the first power. Then you divide by one minus r, so one minus cosine of one like that. So you just get cosine of one over one minus cosine of one. You know, and if you don't want to go through all this, all you can do, you can just put this in your calculator. I actually have a calculator here. Let's see, cosine of one, cosine of one, roughly 0.54, right? So you can avoid all of this and this little statement here about 
m not being a multiple of pi, I just thought it'd be cool. For what values will it converge, right? So those are the values. Anyway, it's kind of cool. Just thought I would make this little short video and investigate this infinite series. Good stuff.